Hey, what's slicing everybody? CAC Knives here with a pretty cool video today. Um, so every year I'm going to be doing a kind of collection update video. And uh, for me, it's going to be easier if I split this up into two videos. So this one is going to consist of all my traditional knives, you know, like case knives and um, like Rough Riders and things like that, um, as well as all my fixed blades that I own. Now I'm not a huge fixed blade person, but I do own, I don't know, like eight fixed blades. Uh, most of which probably stay in my collection forever. Um, I may get some fingerprints on some of these Rough Rider and case knives that might make them look a little less awesome than they are. Um, but we're actually gonna start with um, a knife that kind of uh, started my, um, you know, knife collecting period. Uh, when I first got into knives, this right here was the thing that really got me into knife collecting. I got this thing from Amazon, Best Buy Damascus. And um, for being only like 40 bucks, this thing's Damascus, it, it doesn't pick it up very well on camera, but it still to this day has one of the coolest looking Damascus in person. And I know it's probably just one of them knives from you know Pakistan, but this one actually is done very well. I don't know if I just got lucky or what, but this has been one of my favorite Damascus knives ever, and it was only like 40 bucks. And I don't even know if you can get these anymore, but we're going to start off with that. Um, I'll probably eventually have to clear this table off. Um, we're going to go with a few that I got for Christmas on various years. Um, some of these I may not open because I don't want to try to close them. Some of them just are kind of a pain to close. This one may be one of those. Um, this is kind of similar. That's actually supposed to be red, but the camera's not deceiving you. It does look more pink. Um, but I got that for Christmas last year, I think, along with this one. Um, you know, these are just more of them kind of Pakistan style. Got some oil still there at the bottom of it. Um, you know, they're okay. The thing with these kind of knives is I can't really carry them. So, you know, I tend not to do much with them other than kind of keep them in a collection, which is why most of them are going to be Rough Riders. But I do have a few case knives. Um, this is actually one of my favorite traditional pocket knives in general. With the flag kind of being ripped through the white bone there. Very pretty um, copper lock, I think is what these are called. But this is one of my two cases. Um... Other case is a little um, toothpick in the Patriotic Kira Knight. Uh, and I also got this for Christmas one year uh, as a present from a good friend of mine. Um, the rest, I probably will open the blades up um, to show you. I actually have two um, Rough Rider Gold Rushes. And these are very pretty. I will open the trapper because a lot of the Rough Riders have some cool things on their blades. So um, I'll try to show those off. Um, some of these Rough Riders you will be able to get on Smoky Mountain still. Some of them, if they're not on Smoky Mountain, you may be able to find them on eBay. Um, but you know, I've had this collection of these traditionals grow you know, for a few years. So a few more Rough Riders right now that I do want to get. Um, the cool thing about knives like this, like Rough Rider and, you know, here, like this Imperial, is they're not very expensive. Most Rough Riders, they run an average of, you know, 8 to 15 bucks. And like this Imperial knife, with that kind of acrylic swirl, um, I don't think these things have any cool stuff on the blade yet. They just say Imperial Charade um, on the blade there. But these things are only about five bucks sometimes on Smoky Mountain. Um, this is one of my favorite Rough Riders. Um, the Stoneworks. 
and yes it's one of my favorite because it is in red white and blue the only thing it has on these blades is the stone works right there but it has the uh abalone in the middle and the mother of pearl on each side it's very pretty with the uh kind of rock formations i really like it um next up is my personal favorite more because personal meaning to me my grandparents got me this one i really wanted this one one year it's a christmas for 2022 um does say uh you know merry christmas my only kind of this kind of style trapper is my favorite but i really like this knife merry christmas and rough rider on it um yeah very 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 pretty the mother of pearl and the green and kind of the brown acrylic um yeah i won't really show the backs of a lot of these off because they're pretty much the same um i don't remember what this one is i don't even know if this one has anything on the blades this one does not have things on the blades just another rough rider but i like the uh i like the blue <laughs> mixed with the mother of pearl so you know there you go see if i can do this whole video without cutting myself <laughs> people don't realize how hard this is to do with the phone kind of right up to your face um this one has a material that my uh fiance actually has some rocks and i can't remember off the top of my head what stones this green is but these are actual real rocks that can be found you know in the wild wherever they're found i suppose um and again some nice pretty mother of pearl these rough riders just knock it out of the park with this mother of pearl it'd be cool if they made every color in mother of pearl so i could kind of like you know you got green and mother of pearl you got blue and mother of pearl you know if they had every color line i would probably get one of each just to kind of have a rainbow with mother of pearl rough rider knives i believe this is some form of stoneworks too if i'm not mistaken um different kind obviously than this one but let's keep on moving we got seven minutes already this is my fiance's favorite that i have i just thought it looked cool with kind of the moss and like i said these aren't very expensive so if you see one that you like you know you can kind of like why not go ahead and just you know go ahead and get it they're the best the best way to start a knife collection easily. If you want a lot of knives quick and cheap and easy and you still want quality to be there, Rough Rider is your way to go. Um, Steel Warrior, I think this is Frost Cutlery's brand, but I really like the uh, red, white, and blue acrylic. Still looks very cool. So that's why I got that one. Um, Black Widow knife here. Another one of my favorites um i love what they did on these blades um black widow on the left with the spider web on the right and the kind of black widow plus the red and black i just i just really like it i mean i i like spiders <laughs> so i know a lot of people don't but i think they're pretty cool uh, moving on got a imitation tortoise shell here it's a marbles one um what you're seeing on the back of these that's not imperfections or anything that's just i store them in a uh, i store my traditionals in a kind of toolbox and i laid out some kind of some mesh foam on the bottom and they sit on that so the i'm sure you'll be able to see it on this one they uh they kind of get little dots from the mesh foam that just wipe off but this imitation tortoise shell looked pretty cool. And, uh, you know, still looks pretty cool. So that's why I have that one. Again, cheap, right? Um, moving on to more of my traditionals. I have, of course, my own Buck 110 Floating Hunter. This was a custom one given to me for Christmas one year. Um, also in 2020. Um, you go, it's custom made in the shop, but mostly just because of these, uh, what you want to call leopard print handles. Um, 
don't know many people with a knife collection that don't have at least one buck tin or have owned at least one buck tin before. Um, got a, I like copper and brass. Um, so I got this refrigerator copper lock. Um, I just thought it looked cool and it does look cool. Still does. Nice, simple knife. Um, I got this, uh, what was this, the Davy Jones, um, Davy Jones knife, very, much bigger lockback. Um, if you guys would like reviews on each of these knives, I can do that. Um, they probably won't be too long of reviews. Maybe I can do like, you know, all the Rough Riders and then, you know, the two case kind of give my thoughts on the brands and stuff like that. I can do that. I probably will at some point in the future. Um, yeah, definitely already out of room. Um, I got this one. It was kind of a disappointment. This was definitely the definition of Amazon junk. My favorite color is orange. And I've seen this orange and blue. And, you know, this was in my early days of collecting, so don't yell at me too much. This is the gas station knife equivalent for traditionals and lockbacks for sure this thing was like 10 bucks and i was like oh wow that's a heck of a deal and i got it and like you open it and you can't close it like it takes forever to close it's got so many imperfections there's so many issues with it but hey you know i still like the color of it so you know i keep it i have this kudo folder i'm not going to open this on camera it would be very hard for me to close this knife through the camera just the way the lock is but uh you know, I have it. Um, moving on to my fixed blades. Um, here I have a custom fixed blade from a local maker. Um, big signature is kind of hard to see on there, but it's right there. Um, this is an obsidian blade. I'm sure you can tell with the light shining through it there. Um, very very heavy craftsmanship i believe this is a deer's jaw right here and it's very like it doesn't look like it it's actually very comfortable if you really really needed to use it as a knife um i just display it um here in our bedroom but yeah obviously a lot of work went into this and uh i'm very happy to own it um sitting you kind of got to be careful don't want to like shatter it or anything um, I got this along with the display, this railroad spike knife. When I graduated college, got it as a present, um, which was very cool. I think it has, uh, has my name there. URG stands for the University of Rio Grande. Um, no, we don't live near Mexico or anything. That's just, just what the college is called around here. I, uh, I actually live in Ohio, so, um, Moving on, like I said, I won't have as many, many fixed blades. Um, I saw this made in the USA, you know, kind of cheap knife here. And I know Ontario used to be an only USA company there a long time ago. So figured it'd be cool to have one of their USA made fixed blades just to keep them in the collection. One too expensive, but still nice. Everybody has to have a Mora. <laughs> um... Like, literally everybody. These are some of the best knives ever made for the price. Possibly the best knives ever made for the price. Sheath on there. Made in Sweden. Yes. These are very cool, guys. And, uh, of course, I got my favorite, orange with black. Uh, I like that. Um, I'd like to get a few more just to have some beat-up ones. This one I kind of keep in really good shape. You were like, why are you keeping a $12 or $13 knife in good shape? I don't want to. I like the way it looks. I love the grind lines on it. Guys, this thing was like, seriously, it was like 11 or $12. Like, it's better than a lot of knives that cost $30 or $40 for fixed blades. This SOG was my first fixed blade. Um, I liked it, like the way it looks. I've taken it fishing with me a few times. Um, did very well. You know, SOGs, Got a, you know, 
not as good of a reputation, I would say, as some other knives. Um, but this knife is really good, this fixed blade. And, uh, you know, I like it a lot, so I keep it. Um, I really liked the way this looked. This is glow in the dark. Uh, the CRKT Minimalists. These things are only about 30 bucks. Um, but hey, I, uh, you know, I like those gears and the gear is also glow in the dark. It's very cool. It's very comfortable for its size. It's a tiny neck knife, but dang, you know, and you can kind of wear it around in Ohio. You can wear it around. Um, I know, you know, every state is different on its laws. Um, and then my favorite fixed blade that I'm sure is just also something from Pakistan, but I really like it. It's acorn fixed blade with some like carvings. Like if somebody did this in a folding knife, I know there is one guy on Etsy who makes these kinds of handles on folding knives with pocket clips. Um, and he has Damascus blades. Um, I thought about contacting him and asking him if he'd do something like this on the blade for me with the like satin grind lines. That's very nice. Like seriously guys, this thing was only like $35. I got it on eBay, I think. And honestly, I love the looks of it. Like, this thing is just gorgeous. Oh, I love it. It's one of my favorite, possibly is my favorite fixed blade that I own. Um, but I'll go ahead and do this one today as well. Kind of on the realm between traditional and... Um, you know, modern, but this is my open L. Um, everybody also needs an open L in their collection. Of course, I got the fish one. <laughs> These are made in France. Uh, they're very unique. Um, so basically what it is, is you have this that can prevent the blade from opening, say like in your pocket or somewhere. Turn it. Open it. And then you can turn it again. And now it's locked in place. And it won't shut. It's very clever, very clever design. I know a few companies do this. I don't know if OpenL was the first. Um, where's it say right there? Yeah, made in France. Um, but I really like the wood fish carvings on this one. So this is the one that I got. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I knew I wanted an OpenL. This is the one I picked and this is the one that were made in my collection. Um, and that is it guys for traditionals and fixed blades my folding knife collection will definitely be bigger than this um i have folding knives are my thing i mean these are technically folding knives too but folding knives that i can carry around with pocket clip <laughs> i will be doing that video um probably wednesday or thursday of this week um, so keep your eyes out for that. Um, other than that, if you guys like what I'm doing, if you guys like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, I also have an Instagram, uh, CAC Knives. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, guys.